Hi and welcome back! In my last video I began by asking you, have I told you lately how awesome you are? And then I went back and thought, hmm, the word awesome is so overused, especially here in America. You know what I should have said? That you're remarkable and I'm saying that right now. Something about you is worth making a remark about and that's so true. Take that to the bank. I want us to continue with the conversation that I started about ideas. I didn't go anywhere. See, I still have the same clothes. I'm so glad you came back so I'm, I'm so glad so in this video um, let's talk about those ideas and my first point is don't hold ideas don't be a collector of ideas ideas are not souvenirs you know put them to test put them to the audience as they come and we are so lucky we have social media it's just not social media it's free it's free social media so you no longer need to buy a, a big billboard space or rent an office space to begin with. You have a ready audience. So this is our testing lab here. And a lot of people are tempted to say, oh, let me attend this conference. Let me take so and so um, courses. Courses are everywhere before I kick off. Let me save up this kind of money to go on training first, to get like coaching. You know, nothing bad about that you're probably thinking I should learn as much as possible and master my material before I go public to share that material. You know, something could go wrong with that. There's something that could go wrong with that thinking. You might be going the wrong path for a long time and not know it. So the audience, bringing your ideas to the audience as soon as you can will help you. It's like a GPS. They'll tell you how and where to go so take advantage of the feedback in the early stages so that you can correct course. Ideas are like a computer degree. You go to school for four years and by the time you graduate, none of the programming language you learned is relevant. Does that, that sucks, right? So that's why schools are offering like six months courses, computer, computer courses so that people can stay relevant. In a lot of companies, I'll tell you, I hiring research companies to work on their behalf for their brand so that they can predict whether a new product is going to fly or flop. So they test the market and they heavily rely on hearing thoughts on re from real consumers before they release the product to the general, general public. So don't be tempted, for instance, to write your whole book in completion before testing it. Start with a chapter with a page and then post it or share it with your peers and see what questions they ask you. See how they respond and they'll give you direction. Don't wait to get like a million shillings, a million dollars to fit that business plan that you have. And I'm not saying don't have a business plan. I'm just saying scale it down and make it possible to begin it sooner th than later. So that's that's where my point is. So grow your business, grow your grow your business plan as you as you grow. Don't buy a whole container of of clothes. Instead, start with 10, 20 tops and then sell them here on Facebook, sell them to your friends in church and everywhere and see how people respond to to what you're doing before you open a retail store. I think that's common sense, right? So if you want to speak, for instance, you want to be a speaker, start with two to three minute videos on topics that you're familiar with, and then keep on and see how people respond and see how you feel about it too. Sometimes when you begin something, you're also testing yourself and asking yourself, is this what I want to continue doing? Many times what you have in your head is not the same thing, it's not the same way it will execute. You know, I have a friend who went to nursing school for four years and after her clinicals, she called me and said, oh man, I hate this. This isn't my thing. The bedside manner was not her strongest asset. So practice gives you a lot of feedback. The dream in your head might not be in the alignment with the practice in the field. So like my nurse friend, you may find that the product or the service that you want to, 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 you want to embark on is not something that will catch on or is not something that you want to do. You know, Steve Jobs of Apple did a lot of presentations for every new product. 
there are inside reports that say so much time and effort went into preparation of those presentations so steve jobs must might have looked like a master presenter but it's reported that he would rehearse endlessly and carefully he practiced alone in stage he reviewed those scripts for days before presenting the keynote reveal of a new product to the public why why was he doing that he wanted us to buy into his ideas so sometimes you'll have to lead and tell people what they want that's what steve was doing you have to tell them what they are missing out without your product or service so you give a customer a reason to say yes quickly you know henry ford is known to have said if i asked people what they wanted they would have said they would have told me a faster horse so he probably wouldn't have created a new car so it's up to you to show people why they need your product why they need your service or your idea you know a good idea without good persuasion techniques will lead to false feedback sometimes it's not that they said no to your service or product they are saying no to you, you no know, the other day someone sent me an inbox message <laughs> she sells t-shirts and she wrote me something of the sort she said hey Shakwe, you know I have exercise t-shirts do you want to buy it guess what I said no I don't want to buy anything now <laughs> but I'm ready to be sold into something I have $15 for the t-shirt but I said no to that t-shirt I, I didn't say no to that t-shirt I said no to her now had she come to me and said something like hey thank you hey Shakwe, thank you for watching my uh, my my exercise videos I really appreciate it I don't know if you've noticed that I exercise in my label t-shirts I have t-shirts I wear I wear my branded t-shirts in my exercise videos and I have one exactly your size in different colors and I think you look so so cute in it I'm building my hustle would you support my business shipping is free and I ship next day after you pay now if she put that kind of effort it was gonna be so hard for me to say no so you want people to say please take my money <laughs> you want them to say how can I what can I do to support you, you No, know, people buy into you before they buy your product or service really I have that experience they buy into you first so you have to do some work you have some work to do sometimes people blame consumers for nothing you need to do your part so in my future videos I will show you ways to sell ideas and products and services this is a part that I'm so excited about I'm looking forward because this is what I did in my corporate job in the past so stay here with me I really look forward to discussing a lot of things my aim is to build your faith a little bit and I hope by the end of many many conversations that me and you will have you'll take action and go after your dreams or something will ignite in you that's my hope thank you so much for tuning in i really appreciate you i'll see you again in my next topic thank you god bless you